so one of the ways that we can do that is getting kids to share their thinking. So um, we are going to drop into breakout rooms in a minute. But first, um, if you did see the intro video, we did talk about this routine, ways to make or how many ways uh, for uh, a little bit. But it's really a number sense routine that helps kids to make connections, uh, helps them think about problems differently um, and uh, see relationships between the way they think about it and the way their classmates think about it. So um, I do like this routine because it translates very well to a synchronous or uh, asynchronous environment. So the idea here is, and this template is something you can use, um, just change the number in the middle. But the idea is that we would uh, on poster paper or in a Google Classroom on a slide, uh, create um, something that looks like this in a sense, maybe just the number in the middle, but we've got three and a half and we're gonna ask students how can you make three and a half? Like, what are the ways that you can think of making up three and a half? So what I'd like you guys to do, I'd like everybody to do is just think about that for a second. What's one way you could come up with making three and a half uh, and type that into the chat and go ahead and hit return. You can just start populating the chat. If you can think of more than one way, go for it. So we see seven over two, seven halves, seven times five tenths, two plus one, and five tenths, three plus one half, four minus one half. We see some multiplication, some addition, subtraction, three holes and one half, 14 over four. Nice. Okay. Two plus one half, four three fourths, and one half. So you can do this with your class as well, or you could even ask them to share it out you know, one at a time while you're recording on a poster paper behind you or however you wanna do that. But it gets them to see once you have all of these populated, um, it gets them to see that there's a lot of different ways to make up this one number, you know? And if you do have kids that uh, are maybe third graders that have a so little bit more solid understanding of multiplication uh, already, they may do, do some things that other kids don't have as strong a grasp of. And that's gonna give them an opportunity to start to uh, think about those uh, 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 answers that, you know, are different than their own. And so one of the extensions, the next thing you would want to do is ask students, um, because I'm going to step back a second, as you're recording, you would want to record anything, even if it's incorrect, kind of like number talks, if you're familiar with that. Um, because if you do end up with a couple up there that are incorrect, the next step is to ask the students, whether or not they agree with all of the solutions that have been proposed. And so this is an excellent, excellent uh, uh, way to build number sense with students because they have to be kind of critical observers of the solutions that their classmates have provided. So in order to do that, they've got to look at each problem and see if it makes sense to them. Uh, and they can bring up ones that don't and challenge those and ask, you know, and ask some questions about them. The, Another way or another extension that I've seen in classrooms that works really well is um, to take, to choose one of the, maybe one of the solutions that a child uh, uh, shared, like this uh, repeated addition of one half. Maybe one of those solutions uh, is something that really aligns with what you're teaching at the time. And you could ask the students to take that solution and either with manipulatives or a drawing, draw out what that solution looks like. Um, and to them, you know, maybe they're going to draw out circles and cut them into seven halves, that kind of thing. Uh, but that gives them another way to take that abstract idea back to the concrete, and it solidifies it a little bit more for them. Um, they could also do, do the same thing, or they could identify maybe uh, ones they don't understand uh, as well, so that you can go a little bit further with those uh, solutions uh, if it aligns with what you're working on at the time or if you want to just do that as an extension activity. Mm -hmm.